Hey, what's up, my warrior family? It's Ant Warrior, and welcome back to the channel. I know I've been gone for a little bit now, but hopefully this will be a start for a brand new series I want to bring to you guys, and that is a 49ers realistic rebuild. Now, you may ask, why out of all teams in the NFL would I choose the 49ers? Well, on paper, they look like a playoff contender, at least to my eyes. Especially me being a 49ers fan, I could be biased on this. But when I watched them week one, there was a lot of issues that need to be fixed, from down to the scheme that they're trying to do, to player development, to even players that need to be released or traded. There's a lot of things that I think I can do to fix this team and hopefully take it in the right direction to win a championship. Now, one of the main focal points for this series will be around this man right here, George Kittle. Very young, talented, however, is very injury prone, and so I want to make sure we can fix that very soon. A quarterback that we need to talk about is going to be Jimmy Garoppolo. My plan for the first season is not to finish off this season with Jimmy, unless for some reason he's having the best season out of everybody and we need to finish it off with him to win a championship. But my goal is not to finish it with him, but with this man right here, Trey Lance. I think we need to focus on finishing the season off with this man and developing him into the quarterback that we need as of right now. I think we need to give him more opportunities to make him a better quarterback, but I think that time will come. But definitely the best position on this team is our running backs, at least to me. And leading that is Raheem Moser at 86. However, this man is very injury prone. So I want to develop this man, Trey Sermon, to where he can be a nice solid backup so that if Raheem Moser goes out, we can start this man. He is a kind of a power back as of right now, but hopefully with developing him into that elusiveness receiving back category, that will get better over time. But I also want to develop this other rookie in Elijah Mitchell because in real life, he did really good for us. And he does have that speediness that we can use against other teams. So he's going to get some opportunities as well. Also, him being a rookie, we want to give him those opportunities to become great. Now, wide receivers are definitely not the strongest position on our team. However, we do have Debo Samuel at 82 there. But I don't want Debo to be the main leader on this team. I would like to find some other wide receiver that can take that number one role. Brandon Ayuk is an option. Even though he's going to his second season, he's a 78 star development and can be something really good. Especially if we can change that star into like a superstar development. But I would like to pick up another wide receiver to help out this team. But I am glad though that we have this man right here protecting our quarterback Trent Williams at a 94 overall. The Niners gave this man an extension and a great leader for this offensive line. Now, shifting onto the defense, we have this man right here, Fred Warner, at a 94 overall. One of the top three best middle linebackers in all of NFL right now. And a great captain for this defense. I think he's going to be fantastic for us, and I would like to focus on him for our defense. Also focusing on the defense, we have this man, Nick Bosa, who is going to be a great centerpiece. Now, he is very injury prone. But I don't want to focus on that. I would like to keep this man getting a lot of reps. I think we need to also use him a lot in game. But just in case so we don't overuse him, we have this man, Javian Kinlaw. Second year in the league, 78 overall defensive tackle. And I would like to use him a lot as well just so that we can take off pressure off Nick Bosa. Now defensive backs, even though they might seem good, even though we have this man, Jason Brett at an 84, we have a lot of old heads. Jason Brett's already in his 30s. And he's just going to be going downhill from here. I mean, even our safeties, they're in their 30s. Um, our other cornerbacks, like, for example, Quan Williams, he's in his 30s. So even though we do have a lot of old heads and even if a lot of people want to say that they're good as of right now to win, we're not in the best position to beat the teams like the Chiefs or even Tampa Bay for some reason. We have Jimmy Ward, but he's in his 30s. So a lot of these guys later down the road are just going to keep regressing and we're not going to have positions to fill those. So I definitely want to pick up other pieces to where, just in case these guys get injured, that we're going to be solid. Now, like I said, defense is something I like to focus on because defense wins championships. And even though this defense might be good, there are a lot of old heads on this team. And linebacker is definitely something I need to focus on because besides Greenlaw, we have nothing else on linebackers. It's literally just Fred Warner. Now, I am going to take back what I said about hold heads because I'm bringing this man for a year, Richard Sherman. Now, even though this man is 33, he is an 85 overall, and realistically, the Niners are in position to grab him, especially when Jason Brett is down. This man's going to hopefully, if we sign him, he can come in and fill in that cornerback spot. Now, will the 49ers sign him? I have no clue. They're in talks with him, but I don't know if they're going to actually sign him. Now, for the team, yes, because obviously you want to win a championship. And let's say we don't win a championship this season, then we just don't re-sign him. Because obviously he's just going to go downhill from here. 
Braun's development and everything, but I would just like him just to make sure that this defense is solid. Now, obviously, 85 overall, still a really good player, and for the positions I want to bring in for young players to hopefully develop on this team, they're going to learn a lot from Richard Sherman. That's what I want from this team. Now, as you guys can see, I got some practice gameplay for you guys just to show you what the team's going to be looking like, you know, positions that I want to focus on. We're also giving opportunities to Trey Lance in this one, Trey Sermon, Elijah Mitchell, other players on the offense, just to give them a taste of what could come. Now, I wanted to ask you guys, if you guys have a preference of who we should bring to this team, let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to bring them if it's realistic. And that's all I want to do with this team. You know, I'm not going to be trading for five first round picks just so I can get the top player in the draft. I want to do stuff that's going to be realistic, players that are going to come to this team, and even players that are going to be great for us, you know. If I have to go get a 73 overall corner and give up 85 Richard Sherman, I'm going to do that if it's a perfect position for us, you know, and if it's a great opportunity for us to succeed. If Richard Sherman sucks, then I'm going to trade him. It's realistic like that. Now, you guys are going to notice that some parts of the gameplay and everything like that are a little bit laggy and everything like that, and I apologize in advance right now. And the reason for that is because the system I'm using to record all this, it's not really working out, so I'm trying to figure that out before I post the actual gameplay if you guys want to see that. And yeah, basically that's it. But like I said, I want to ask you guys, if you guys have a preference of who I should bring to this team, please let me know down below in the comment section. I have an idea of what trades I want to make and what players I want to bring in and how I want to develop certain players. I already kind of have an idea and a way that I want to do this. And the g game plan for all of this, the goal for this entire series is to obviously win a Super Bowl. So if that happens in the very first season, then, you know, we win a Super Bowl in the very first season. However, I do want to do this my way. I want to do this the scheme I want to win with and obviously the player development I'm going to do it in. For the defense, I have a way that I'm going to develop each position and even the same for the offense. I also have a scheme that I'm going to go over in the next episode if you guys want to see it. I will go over the scheme of how I want to go through the very first season and how I'm going to use every player in that. You guys are going to also hear how I'm going to develop Trey Lance, Trey Sermon, all of those guys which I'm going to have in the next video. But yes, man, if you guys are excited for this series, please leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. And like, man, I am so sorry for not posting any content for you guys recently. A lot of stuff's been going on, but I'm glad to say... I am back on this channel, and like always, man, this is Antwerp, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.